BoomersBrainTrust.com, the website, and let's see, what else did I miss? Oh yeah, uh, audio and video, it's all there. I, all of it, almost all of it. Video on demand, free, BoomersBrainTrust.com. You can subscribe to our podcast. It's all there. Why? Because I put it up there every single day. Yes, Thank you, you very do. much. I, I really do. The, I really appreciate that you Isn't do that, that nice? Time. Isn't that nice? Yeah, Try within the hour, within an hour, unless I forget. No, I'm kidding. Uh, boomersbraintrust.com. We thank everybody for watching, listening, and doing all that on demand. So why are you so tired? That's mm -hmm. the big question. Ugh, lack of sleep. It's really not the only thing sapping your energy. You didn't think that, did you? Little things you do and little things probably that you don't do can exhaust you physically, mentally, mm -hmm. and otherwise, and that makes getting through your day a whole lot more difficult. Now, for example, I heard that many people sort of just lie awake at night, then they go through their day's activity you oh know my gosh, they just go yeah. over and over and they figure out now how could i have done that better or i had a better comeback for that guy in that meeting <laughs> and then they think well how they're going to do it better tomorrow now this is ridiculous all right don't but do we do that. it people do it you need to sleep you don't don't analyze don't do that uh diana has some other common bad habits <laughs> Well, I don't, personally. Well, but. okay, all right. <laughs> it, it sounded odd the way I said that. Diane's going to tell you about some bad habits and make you sort of feel tired. How about some advice on lifestyle changes, too, though, that you can make that might bring some of that vim and or vigor that you could very well be missing? Mm -hmm. Some well, stuff you can do? Yeah, absolutely. First one up, exercise. Now, here's the thing. Uh -huh. When you uh, skip out on exercise, you think, oh, I'm just going to save some energy. But it actually works against you. Uh, there was a University of Georgia study uh, where they took uh, sedentary but otherwise very healthy adults who began exercising very lightly, three days a week. Um, we're talking like 20 minutes at a time, like just walking around the block. And they actually reported feeling less fatigued and a lot more energized after six weeks. Uh, so that means regular exercise actually boosts your strength. It boosts your endurance and it helps make your cardiovascular system run much more efficiently also delivers oxygen, nutrients to your tissue. So next time you're thinking, I'm just going to lie down on the couch for a little bit, instead, just go around the block. You That's know, just do it a couple of times. People make, though, with regard to that, because they say, I get home, I just don't have the energy to get up and walk. Yeah. And you think, okay, well, maybe the reason you don't have the energy is because you're not actually doing it. Right. I don't tell people that, but actually that's the that's Well, I'm telling you that. You need to do that. And, and you're never going to regret it, unless, of course, you get mugged while you're out on the sidewalk. But... Don't talk well, it's what how often does it happen? <laughs> 20, 30 percent of the time, max, max. Oh my gosh! Another thing that might be uh, you might really need to do is drink more water. Uh, in fact, uh, Ravak even brought this up. He said that uh, even if you're slightly dehydrated, and we're talking as little as two percent of normal fluid loss, it takes a toll on your energy levels. That's why it's really important that you hydrate before bed, even though you think you're going to be up all night. Dehydration causes a reduction in blood volume. It actually makes the blood thicker, mm -hmm. and that means your heart has to pump less efficiently in order to keep up, and it reduces the speed at which oxygen and other nutrients reach your muscles and your organs. So if you're thinking, maybe I'm not taking in enough water, you can calculate what you need. You Just, can? Yeah. Take your, your weight in pounds, all, uh -huh. right, all right, divide it in half, and then that number... Drink that number of ounces of water each day. Okay, that's rule the of, latest one. Uh, rule of thumb alert is what we should have there said. Rule of go. thumb alert. So there take you your and you're supposed to drink that much water in ounces, not in gallons. Ounces. <laughs> well, eh, eh, hey, don't listen. want to be doing that. Uh, boy, now I'm just going to calculate that. Half your weight in ounces. And and you know the, uh, this article, and I'll have that up on the website too, where I where I gleaned this info. But um, you know they mentioned fluid. You know you want liquid. You want and and. Everyone laughs at us, well, I drink that in beer, or, you know, I had three glasses of wine. You need good old-fashioned water, all right? So just stick well, to some although, water. Although, I mean, things like tea. I mean, yeah, that, you can have things like that. Yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, but uh, don't alcohol forget that, is not that water count. is really the best thing for you, you know, good water. Sure. Uh, also, think about your iron levels. Uh, if you have an iron deficiency, it may be leaving you uh, feeling very sluggish, very irritable. It can leave you weak you're not able to focus as well. When we don't get enough iron, we get tired because less oxygen is actually traveling to the muscles and the cells. So you need to boost your iron intake. Uh, load up on some lean beef, get some kidney beans in you, get some tofu, have some eggs with the yolks. And don't forget those good dark green leafy veggies and nuts and peanut butter. Oh, all the stuff that I like. Well, I mean, it's just good stuff. And then if you can, pair them with foods that are high in vitamin C because vitamin C actually improves iron absorption when you eat 
them together with iron. You know, if you if you have iron, I've heard that too. Together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, wow, and, and don't you. forget too yes. that if you have an iron deficiency, it may be because you have an underlying health problem. So if you experience a lot of these symptoms even after you boost your iron intake. Go to your doctor. Wow, Dr. Dinah, look at you. <laughs> look at you crank away. I thought the answer was just, you know, take Geritol with iron. There, Isn't that well, what they used to tell us on TV? Oh, yeah, but you, then you'd miss out on kale, and you know how much you love kale, John. Um, <laughs> My wife, I think I keep her. <laughs> That's right, I you, forgot you, that. You know what line. I'm talking about. Come I on. do. You also want to make sure you are fueling your body properly. Um, check in with your eating habits. The food you eat, of course, is fueling your body. When you sleep, your body continues using what you consumed at dinner the night before to keep your blood going, keeping the oxygen flowing. But when you wake up in the morning, you have to refuel. If you skip it, you feel pretty run down. So aim for a breakfast that has whole grains, some lean protein, some healthy fat. Uh, they were mentioning uh, oatmeal, you know, throwing a little protein powder in there, maybe right. have a smoothie, again with the protein powder, maybe some fruit. Um, you know, good old low-fat Greek yogurt, which is my go-to. I know you're the oat man. I'm the oat man. Yeah. I love the oatmeal, love the dry cereal in the morning, sure. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. You also want to uh, keep track of your sugar intake. Uh, foods that have sugar and simple carbs, like, you know, stuff in prepared foods or stuff you get through the drive through that is going to be way high up on the glycemic index. Uh, and it, it's an indicator of how rapidly carbohydrates increase your blood sugar. And if you have this constant blood sugar spike and then it has the sharp mm. drops, uh, then you have this fatigue over the course of the day. So keep your blood sugar on a, on a nice, steady Yeah, watch the, whites, the, watch the white bread, watch the yeah. refined grains. I, I read where just last week where your body d d looks at that as, it stores it like sugar. It does, yeah. absolutely And it then does. it needs more energy. Right, so yeah. you want to get into the lean protein and some of the whole grains at every meal and you'll do a lot better. Another thing to keep on top of is your stress level. You want to make sure that if you're one of these people who are always going to assume the worst, you're, you're very anxious, that's going to paralyze you. It's going to make you mentally exhausted. And when you catch yourself having these thoughts of, you know, ah, everything's going wrong, get outdoors, exercise, walk around that block, fend off that mugger, uh, meditate, <laughs> talk with a friend, whatever it takes. And here's another tip. Don't deplete your own energy and happiness by being a people pleaser. Over time, it can make you really resentful. So train yourself to say no out loud. Use it when you need to, because you may need to use it on your kids or your grandkids or your boss or everybody. All right. So you're telling me to start. Uh, I, I'm not. Don't Try I have to it come right over, now. Say I, no. I don't have to come over and paint your garage. Well, no, that you committed to. So there's no going back on that, Johnny. You can't, so you can't renege on your commitment. No, but you know we take on way too much, and right. these are the things that keep us up and don't allow us to get rest. So I'm okay. just saying, and I'll have more. All right, good. And there's more than this. Absolutely, this is hey, simply part one. Part one, part two, still to come. I can't <laughs> wait. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Stick around, tune in, turn on, and drop out, which we're going to do in the next five seconds. But we're coming right back on the Boomer's Brain Trust program.